this is my school bus. I'm on Instagram as Tales of the Struggle Bus. So the outside was actually already painted when I bought it, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, painting the over the school bus yellow, which was fantastic. And I like the color, so I'm gonna keep it. I just need to touch up the paint sometime soon. So anyway, come on in and I'll show you the inside. Should I turn on the lights in here? Be a little bit easier. So this is my the inside of my bus. Um, refrigerator freezer that came with it. It's like a dorm size, only a little bit bigger, which is great because it's nice to have ice or keep frozen vegetables or meat or whatever. Uh, this is all kitchen area. This is where I have my water storage. I don't have a water tank. I just keep gallons of water here and have pretty easy access to it. It doesn't bother me to have to fill up the my little canteen thing here. So that's what I use to do dishes and wash my hands, brush my teeth, all that sort of stuff. Then we have my miniature sized bed. <laughs> Since I'm super short, um, I cut down a full size bed and it fits just me pretty much. So it works because it doesn't take up that much room in the, in the bus. This is my little basement storage area in my battery bank inverter. I've got three batteries under there, and then I've got 600 watts of solar on the roof, so it's pretty awesome. Then I got a bucket toilet, which works fine for me. Um, my closet area. I've rearranged this a couple of times because I was like, I don't need that many clothes, but then once I was working, I was like, I do need some more clothes, so. Yeah, mine, mine went from about that size with two rods to one rod to now 10 inches. <laughs> Yeah, when you're on the road, it doesn't. You don't really need all that many clothes to to get by, for sure. No, oh, I have enough t-shirts and socks to get through a month. There you go. Um, this is all my craft area. I do a lot of paper crafting and actually all kinds of crafting. So that's got all of my crafty stuff in it. And um, that's about it. Actually, I have these these little hooks up here that I use to hang my shower curtain. So I have a water. Uh, water pump that I can put down in here and I heat water to go in there and I can take a shower that way and I've got my little bucket that catches the water mm -hmm. and I just dump that into the my little I've seen people um, do this and use a one of those collapse, collapsible dog baths oh. that folds up real small oh, and nice. it's about four six inches I think deep uh -huh. but it folds up into nothing Yeah. and they put it down the floor and then got to empty it but yeah yeah that's a good idea especially if it's collapsible then it takes up less room yeah and that's all nice. especially with a, a shorter bus yeah I mean yeah I can ha I can afford the space to have a big bathroom yeah <laughs> yeah so. I would definitely have a bigger bathroom if I had the space but what I have works so it's fine yep. so. Well, I like it here. Uh, now, do you have any kind of social media? If somebody wanted to ask a question or something? Yeah, I'm on um, on Facebook, just my name, Tanya Craig, T-O-N-I-A. And then I'm on um, Instagram with Tales of a Struggle Plus, all lowercase letters. So. Okay. Thank you. Me. Uh -huh, you're welcome. I hope you enjoyed the tour of that latest rig. I will have a new one next Saturday. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified. So make sure you don't miss them. Uh, lots of uh, cool rigs coming up this year. See you down the road, my friends. Stay safe.